Hello everyone, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the third and final review of today. We earlier talked about white birch from Homeworks and did a review on that. We also did a review on vanilla pine from Homeworks. Um, and then now tonight we are finishing it off with first frost from Homeworks. So I don't believe that this one ever made it on to homeworks.shop or QVC or online at all in general. Um, I just didn't see this one online. I actually found this one at my local home goods and they actually had a lot of it there. And uh, I don't know if it was like something that was retired and they just had a lot of it left in the factory and just sent it to home goods. Um, not sure what really happened there, but I thoroughly enjoy this scent. Um, I really like it a lot, so much that I actually went back and purchased one more because I loved it so much on cold. And I would say the performance is pretty fair. Um, I'll of course be comparing it to the two can reviews that I did from early that I did from earlier, which both had. Their main issue was that they were low strength and throw. I'm gonna talk all about that later in the video on the performance, but um, I just really like the scent on cold and it's very uh, complex, but beautiful. It's just a very pretty scent. So I did purchase them one more that I will burn next year. But anyways, we will go ahead and hop into the notes here. So the notes are Siberian Cedar, Douglas Fir, White Moss, Sparkling Citrus, and Chilled Eucalyptus. So like I said, this is a very complex scent. It has a lot of different notes, but they all work together really, really well and make a pretty blend. I would say the base of it is a fir cedar tree scent. It definitely smells like you're walking in the woods. I get a little bit of eucalyptus from this one, maybe a little bit of mintiness in here. I know it's not in the notes, but I do smell like a little bit of mintiness in there. Um, and then I get like a very like mossy smell to it, um, kind of like an earthy grounding type of scent, but it works really well with the eucalyptus and the like fir and cedar. It just all works really well together. It has a note of sparkling citrus, which I think is kind of interesting because you don't really hear of like a sparkling citrus note normally in like a tree or a winter scent. But I don't, I don't feel like I get too much of the citrus, but I do get a little bit of it and it just blends really well in the tree and the eucalyptus. I feel like Carrie makes really pretty scents and beautiful scents and does really well with them, especially the tree ones but they're not always too unique and they're kind of just like basic, but in a good way, they're just comfortable where they are. I feel like this is a more um, pretty scent and it's just very unique and he kind of went out of his comfort zone and it obviously worked really well. So I just really enjoy this blend and I think it is a beautiful candle. I would love to see it come back next year and I want to see it online and um, a normal one for homeworks but let me know down below in the comments if you did see this one in home home goods sorry i'm forgetting how you say it home goods marshall's and tj maxx um and let me know if you guys picked it up and what you guys thought of the scent but let's go ahead and um talk about the performance before i get into that i do want to say um i am now going to be sharing with you guys the pour dates for every homework scandal because i think that it really helps for us to know what the like quality and the burn is like so the pour for this one is 220609 so it is 2022 june 9th so this date if you've heard it before is actually what i'm calling like the cursed date which kind of sounds funny but any of the homework candles that i've gotten from that day have been pretty bad burns. They are failing to pull, they have very light strength and throw, and they just aren't really performing up to that normal homeworks standard. Now, if you want to see 
where you can find the pour day. I will show you right here. So as you can see, it's this number right here. So starts with an F and then um, I believe that, that means like fall maybe, but I'm not sure. So it's 2206.10. So the year is 2022. 06 is the month. So June and then 10 is the day. So June 20, sorry, June 10th of 2022. So that is how you find the uh, pour day on there. Again, any of those candles that were like poured around that day, I've had just pretty bad experience with, but I actually feel like this one might be a breakthrough because I am having better performance with this one than I expected to since it's that um, bad pour day as I'm calling it. Um, I feel like this one's burning much better also than the two that I, rever that I reviewed from earlier. I will go ahead and show you guys a little overhead view on it. Um, it's definitely got a little bit of dirtiness in the wax. I think some of the wick residue has fallen from it and it's um, just got like some dirtiness in the wax. But other than that, this one is actually performing pretty fairly. As you can see, there's no setting or anything like that on the jar. Um, it's not pulling or it's not failing to pull out. Um, this part right here will get burned in a second. I just lit it up like 30 minutes ago. So um, it is actually doing pretty well for the burn. As far as the strength in the throw goes, this one, I would give it about like five and a half to a six, which is much better than what I was giving my two from earlier, which I gave like a three to a four, which is not good at all. This one is pretty on par with all of the other homework scents. They're not overly strong, but they are much lighter than um, like what I would hope for. I know I say this in like every homeworks video, but I really do hope that homeworks and Harry and the team just really look at it and increase the strength on the throw, fix the performance issues that we're having and come back better than they had in 2022. Cause I think we can all agree that there were definitely some mistakes that they made in 2022 and it led to a lot of drama and loss of money probably and just mad and angry customers. So, really hope that they look at our reviews and that they are going to make changes for 2023 but I do feel like this one is performing pretty fairly for me also before I forget to mention it I really love this label I will show you guys a 360 of it isn't it just so beautiful um it's like a snowy winter wonderland it's like a road with trees. Homer says really good with the labels. I love it when they do these wraparound labels. Sometimes they'll do like the half wraparound label and then like the white down here with the text and I don't like those at all. But I do really love these wraparound labels and I hope that they keep these around and don't get rid of them because they are definitely beautiful and give it that um, homeworks touch to it. But anyways, again, let me know down below in the comments if you guys did get to pick this one up and let me know your thoughts on it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Check out the other two videos from earlier today and make sure to watch those reviews. Make sure to turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. I will be back tomorrow for some new candle reviews and I will see you guys then. Bye.